Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell you how to implement a 2-bit comparator using two 1-bit comparators. Okay, so before going into the concept, first let me explain what do you mean by a comparator. What do you mean by a comparator? Comparator is nothing but a device, a device used to compare two incoming bits. It is used to compare it is used to compare two input bits two input bits okay now i am giving a as one bit and b as another bit for a comparator it is the comparator okay okay whatever may be the size okay the main purpose of comparator is used to compare the two incoming data okay so irrespective of the size the purpose of the comparator is just to use it to compare based upon the two inputs after comparing what could be the outputs possible outputs of this comparator possible outputs of this comparator let a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0 a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 what is the result here the comparator result is a is equal to b so what is the condition now equality condition equality condition we are taking that equality condition as e okay and this is the first case second case if a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 so a equal to 1 b is equal to 0 then what happens a is greater than b because the value of a is 1 and b is 0 so a is greater than b this is greater than this is greater than so here it is greater than g and similarly the third one a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 so a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 so this is a less than b a less than b so here for our simplicity i am taking this uh, greater than as g and less than as l and equality as e so this is less than okay so the outputs the possible outputs for a comparator is two inputs and three outputs two inputs are nothing but data inputs to be compared and outputs are greater than equal to or less than okay at a time only one input is activated not all okay now we are going to implement two bit comparator where the inputs are two bits okay two bit comparator using one bit come two one bit comparators okay so two bit comparator using one bit comparators two bit comparator using one bit comparators so what do you mean by one bit comparator or main comparator See, it is just used to compare the two incoming bits. Now, assume, assume, so two-bit comparator has, assume, two-bit comparator has A as one number, B as another number, A consisting of A1, A0, B consisting of B1, b not okay these are the two bit see this is a not is one bit a one is another bit so this is two bit input a and similarly this is b not b one these are also two bit input b okay now we are going to give a not a one b not b one to the comparator two bit comparator where the internally two bit comparator is having two one bit comparators okay okay let let uh, let before going to the implementation first let me explain how the design is obtained let a is equal to 1 a in the sense a1 <coughs> a1 is equal to 1 a naught is equal to 0 and b1 is equal to 1 b naught is equal to 0 okay see here what is the number corresponding to this one? It is 1, 0, A1, one, A0. One, and what is the number corresponding to this one? It is also 1, 0. Actually, these two are equal. 
actually these two are equal so comparison comparison in our uh, electronic circuitry using this circuits whatever we are developing the comparator the comparison should start from lsp comparison should start from msb msb sorry comparison should start from msb that means left left side most significant bit okay left side bit that is nothing but msb most significant bit uh, in our case we have to compare a1 and b1 first we need to compare a1 and b1 okay according to this case these are the a1 b1 which are 1 1 as these two are equal then we have to go to the next one when this particular is true then go to a naught comparing with b naught okay so first we have compared a1 b1 if they are equal then we have to go to the next lower level suppose if they are not equal okay let us consider another case let a1 is equal to 0 b1 is equal to 1 so what is the condition now first always msb has to check so a1 is 0 b1 is 1 which is where a1 is less than b1 because by seeing this you can understand otherwise even if you give it to the uh, logic circuit that will also give you the same a1 less than b1 as a1 is less as a1 is less than b1 we can hear itself declare that a is less than b and declare a is less than b because a, uh, because example a is equal to a is equal to 1 1 b is equal to 0 1 okay actually this number is 3 and this number is 1 so 3 is greater than 1 that is fine but when a is uh, okay opposite is the case let us consider the opposite case because it is less than i am explaining okay and see a is 0 1 b is 1 1 okay when we are comparing the first numbers in a1 a naught okay first number then then what is the number a1 a naught if you compare a is less than b a is less than b when a is less than b you no need to go to the next comparison because the starting itself it is saying msb is less means obviously the total number is less okay that's why we can declare that a is less than b okay then less than is activated and similarly let a1 is equal to 1 and b1 is equal to 0 then we can declare that a1 is greater than b1 declare a1 is greater than b1 if they are equal then we are going for the next level okay like this okay uh, one more say a is equal to 1 a1 is equal to 1 b1 is equal to 0 b uh, a2 is equal to 0 b2 is equal to 0 then a1 a uh, not a2 this is a0 so a not b not a1 a not is equal to 1 0 b1 b not is equal to 0 0 which is greater now a is greater than b a is greater than b okay i think i have to consider it as uh, we have taken the last same example okay b1 should be equal here and we can take one one here this is one and this is one here it is a and b b also one one b also one one okay first what we need to compare we need to compare a1 and b1 when you compare a1 and b1 the result is equality condition a1 is equal to b1 
but when you compare a to uh, sorry a not and b not okay when this is true when equality condition is true then the control will transfer to the next level okay next level nothing but it com compares the least significant bits so here the least significant bits a is a not is 0 b not is 1 so simply a not is less than b not okay when it is less than b not we can all totally declare that a is less than b see here because it is 2 and this is 3 so we can say a is less than b okay now we are going to incorporate all these in a circuit and then we are going to implement that so finally finally a is greater than b if a1 is greater than b1 or a1 is equal to b1 and a0 is greater than b0 and similarly this is first condition so in the first condition greater than is equal to greater than is equal to greater than after first comparison plus equality into g0 and second one a is equal to b if a1 is equal to b1 and a0 is equal to b0 that means the equality condition should be occurred in all the bits okay so equality is nothing but and operation between first one and second one equality operation and operation means it gives you equality operation and operation between the equality operations e1 and e2 and similarly a less than b a less than b if a1 is less than b1 or a1 is equal to b1 and we can say a not is less than a not is less than b not so when a not is less than b not is the less than similarly is equal to l1 plus e1 l not okay so with all these conditions we are going to design the logic circuit logic diagram for logic diagram for the two bit comparator logic diagram for two bit comparator using one bit comparator two one bit comparators this is one bit comparator this is one bit comparator and this is another one bit comparator so we have only three outputs all the ways this is less than equality and greater than this is also less than equality and greater than we are having only one input that inputs are a1 b1 it is a not b not okay so now see here for obtaining greater than value overall greater than value g1 plus e g not this is l1 e1 g1 l2 e2 g2 so it is g1 plus e g not g1 plus e g not e1 plus so it is uh, e1 e1 it is e1 okay so g1 plus e1 g0 g1 plus e1 g0 e1 g0 must be and gate inputs e1 g0 and another one is g1 alone g1 alone
okay this is for g overall g and coming to e e is nothing but e1 and e0 and operation between and operation between e1 and e2 e1 and e0 even in e0 this is l0 e0 and g0 so even and e0 just and operation between two equality operators and a less than b is obtained when e l1 plus e1 l0 l1 plus e1 l0 even l not even l not okay so l1 plus even l not okay so this is the less than operator less than operator equality operator is nothing but just simply e1 and e2 this is equality operator this is the final output final circuit diagram or logic diagram for the two bit comparator using two one bit comparators okay